Let's talk about how to use the Insert Special Characters add-on in Google Sheets. And first we'll go through how to install it. So when you go up to Extensions, just go to Add-ons and we will say Get Add-ons. This is a link to all the add-ons in Google Workspace, but we just want Insert Special Characters. And once you find it and click on it, from here you can install it. So that's going to bring it into your Google Sheets. And Google wants to confirm with you that you have the intention of installing it. So just click on your account to say yes. And the only permissions that this is going to ask, so most add-ons ask to look at all of your files, but this just wants to view and manage the files that this application has been installed in. So it's very limited and it needs to display third-party content because that's what it's going to put into the sidebar. So we'll click allow and it tells you where it's going to be on the menu. So we will look at that in a second. Click done, get rid of this screen. And now when we go to extensions and come all the way down, insert special characters is here. So you do have to click on enable and then it does some magic in the background. We'll close this window and you go back. And now whenever you go into Google Sheets, this is all you need to do. Go to extensions, insert special characters and click on open. And then you get this sidebar that has everything you need to insert special characters without ever leaving Google Sheets. So if we want arrows in this case, they're already at the top. So let's just click on a right facing arrow. It fills it into the cell. And let's do another example. Let's say you want to find some shapes. What you can do is you can filter the list. So we'll come down here and we'll click on the geometric category. And this is all the shapes that are available. You can scroll down in this list and let's say we want this little pie chart. Click on that and it comes in. And let's say you want another one. You can continue to insert special characters in the same cell as long as you're in there. And now we'll do an example where uh, we might want to change some of the attributes of the special character. So let's say we want to do currency. Uh, well, we just want to put a currency symbol in. So let's say we'll do the Euro, but before we insert it, we want it to be blue. So we'll come down to the color picker. We'll just change that and then we'll make it a little bit larger. And now anything that you insert with these two set like that, will be pre-styled when it comes into your spreadsheet. All right, and that's all there is to it. So there's different categories, lots of different special characters in here. If you want a certain special character and you can't find it in this app, just left click here, come to our contact page and let us know. We'll do our best to add it and we'll get back to you telling you that we did. And now that you have these symbols in your spreadsheet, this next video is going to show you how you can actually integrate them into your data to really bring your spreadsheet to life.